As port operations in British Columbia continue to be impacted by the strike and labor dispute between the International Longshore and Warehouse Union of Canada and the BC Maritime Employers Association drags on, it's been on again, off again uh, since earlier in the week when there was a tentative agreement that had been reached. However, the caucus voted on it and turned it down. Uh, which sent the workers back out onto the picket lines. Unfortunately, they were ordered to uh, abandon the picket lines, given the second uh, job action, and that was due to non-issuance uh, of a 72-hour strike notice in the second case. However, the good news is this afternoon, it seems that both parties have agreed to a tentative deal. It will be taken toward, uh, forward and voted on through the contract caucus tomorrow. And uh, if they agree, then they will take that forward to the membership for ratification, which will end the job action at the ports in British Columbia, which estimates so far have it uh, costing over $10 billion to date and growing as the job action continues. For more details, we'll keep you posted uh, once the ratification uh, goes forward or if it gets declined in tomorrow's vote. Thanks for following us here on the Satluj Network and follow us for more information on this and other stories.